Today, I'm gonna to talk about two weird things all chickens do. Let's go. Welcome to Becky's Homestead. chickens do these strange little things and we're like what are they doing that for well a dust bath is one of those strange little things all chickens do a dust bath and they start when they're teeny weeny little chicks you'll see them doing a dust bath and it's so funny so I'm gonna describe what that is it is when they get in a hole they like turn on their side and they like flap their wing and move their feet at the same time and they're just like shoveling dirt like up to the side of their body and flapping as they're going so the dirt works its way through those feathers all the way to their skin in their body and they will all do it they don't do it every single day but let's just say they'll do it two or three times a week two times probably minimum. They'll be doing it every week. And so it's very, very important for you to, first of all, recognize what your chickens do, but also if you keep your chickens in a small coop all the time because you might work full time or you have a lot of predators in your area and to keep them safe, you have to keep them in the coop all the time. If you're in that situation, you're going to have to provide a dust bath for them. If they free range, they will find it on their own. Um, my chickens love to come over here. Of course, they seem to really love my garden. Um, I put some ashes in there after I burned a fire and kind of mixed it in and it's been kind of composting. And of, of course, they have to love the garden, right? Also, they'll do it on the ground. They'll find a good spot. And again, perfect choice. <laughs> they do it under the little archway where people walk through. So you got to be careful. If you step in one of those chicken craters, that's what we call them, you could literally break your ankle or stumble and fall. That's how deep they are. It's like a little chicken crater hole. So you do have to be careful if you are free ranging your chickens. <laughs> you got to watch out for those chicken craters. But if you don't have that and you do have to keep them in a smaller coop and it doesn't have a sand floor, you can buy one of these little tubs at like, um, I would say Lowe's, Tractor Supply, whatever. It doesn't have to be that deep, but it does have to be plenty big. So it's bigger than a dish pan, an old fashioned dish pan. It has to be plenty big for the chicken to lay in there and turn on its side. So, and then what you can do is just get a shovel and just shovel, you know, a good three inches of dirt in there or sand. And then you can just put that in the chicken coop and the chicken will get in there and do its dust bath. So I've noticed that if you provide chickens with everything they need that makes them happy and healthy, that's exactly what you'll get happy, healthy chickens. And they don't need a lot. They just need a few things and they're very specific. But if you do supply those to the chickens, they will just be the happiest little birds in the world and they will lay lots of eggs for you and all will go well in chicken town. Nobody knows exactly why chickens do a dust bath, but there's something in nature that just calls them to do that. And what I think is, you know, when they don't have anybody to take care of them, it possibly could just get some of the oil off their feathers and also possibly keep mites and lice off the birds. Um, I just think that's a possibility of why they do it. It certainly has something to do with, you know, um, conditioning those feathers and their skin under there. So, I mean, we don't know why, but for whatever reason, they have to do that, they like to do that, and they need to do that. The second weird thing chickens do is called molting. 
What molting is exactly is when the feathers on your chicken fall out, old feathers fall out, and then little new feathers will start growing. And a lot of times when this happens, people will be like, oh no, like what's wrong with my chicken? It's losing all its feathers. It doesn't look good. And they'll write to me in a panic, you know, because they're just so worried something's wrong. Well, the thing is, molting is perfectly natural. All chickens do it. And although it looks a little, you know, dramatic and a little scary, you don't have to worry about it. Those chickens will look like a hot mess. They will just have feathers everywhere. They'll be missing a big patch here. And it's just sometimes one chicken will lose more than the other. So that one will look more bald. And it's just crazy time. Chickens usually molt in late fall, which also is a little worrisome sometimes because you're thinking now's the time they need all their feathers and they're, all their feathers are falling out. And so you're like a little worried they're going to be cold or whatever, but that's just the way it is and that's just the way it happens. So you just go with nature, just go with the flow, don't fight it. And the thing is, all the feathers fall out, not like it's not a bald chicken. So don't get the wrong picture. It's not like every single feather falls out and it's just skin. It's a bald chicken. It's not quite that dramatic, but you will look around and there will be feathers everywhere. So it is like, wow. But really chickens have so many feathers on their body. They can lose quite a few and it'll look very dramatic, but they'll still have some feathers on them. And it's a big ordeal because even the big, big long feathers that cover the outside of the chicken will fall out. And that takes a long time to grow a whole new big long feather. So it takes like three weeks to a month for all that to grow back. I do want to say that chickens have two kinds of feathers. They have the outside feathers, which are the big feathers that we see that are colored. And then under that, they have like, we, like we, we joke around and call them the bloomers. <laughs> they have the little tiny downy feathers, which are white and that keeps them warm. So they're like first all little white downy feathers and then big outside protective feathers. So there's two kinds there, just so you know that about the chicken. And you'll see both fall out when it's time to molt. And then you'll just be like, oh, I know what's going on now. And you won't be worried about it. When it looks, you know, a little worrisome are when the bigger feathers fall out. You know, some of those bigger feathers, that's what makes them look more naked. But don't worry because that is part of molting. Those big long feathers will fall out and then they have to grow more feathers in. New, fresh, fluffy, beautiful feathers. The thing you have to realize is feathers are mostly protein, mostly protein. So you definitely have to feed your chickens high animal protein at the time when they're molting. They're using so much nutrition and so much energy to grow in all those big feathers that they will not lay eggs at that time. Your hens won't. Um, so just make sure, so they'll have, a, they'll have an interruption in their egg laying while they're molting. Just make sure that you give them plenty of animal protein in their diet so you can literally add lots of mealworms every single day, like tuna fish, sardines, you know, meat from the table scraps in the house. You can even buy like canned, high quality though, canned dog food or cat food. Just, they need meat. That's what they need. And of course in the fall, late fall at the time they are molting, there's a lot of times there's not a lot of bugs around for them to get on their own. So that's why you have to make sure you add that to their diet. And just be patient, you know, it probably takes, I wanna say, you know, three weeks to a month, they'll be like so poofy and beautiful and you'll just be like so happy how gorgeous and shiny they look. If you want to learn more about chickens and what it takes to provide good care for them so they lay lots of eggs for you, I cover housing, food, care, breeds, just all kinds of stuff you need to know about chickens. 
I wrote a little book and I sell it on my website. You can click the link in the description and buy it today.